Today's first impression is on the new CoverGirl True Blend collection. I have the foundation, powder, and concealer. And what I think is cool about this collection is that they cater to every single woman. They have 21 different shades of the foundation. And it says, I think, I think it says on the website something like 99% of women find the perfect shade. But I think I am in shade Warm Beige Light 7. I got the Translucent Medium Powder. The concealer in Medium 1, 2, 3, and 4. Price range is fairly decent. They're, they average on about $8 depending on where you go. Um, $8 for each product. So I'm going to start off with the concealer. It's not as creamy as I thought it would be. It has a strong scent too. Kind of like um, a crayon scent. Concealer did its job. It concealed all of my red spots. Did pretty well concealing my zit. The one thing, it feels a little waxy. Moving on to the foundation. It is a thicker foundation. Wow, I put a lot on. <laughs> it's one of those where a little does go a long way. I think I picked the right shade. And I like that it is not scented. At least I don't smell anything from it. So I'm taking my beauty blender to blend this out. I'm putting just a little bit more foundation around my nose. I like this feeling on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and it sets so well, even without a setting powder. It's like um, almost like a velvet finish. But since I do have an oily T-zone, I am going to use a setting powder for my T-zone. So it comes with a sponge and a mirror inside. I'm just gonna use a powder brush. You know what, I'm just gonna powder my right side because like so far it feels like this will control oil by itself, the foundation. Um, let's just see how long it lasts. So the foundation has had time to completely set. I love how natural it looks. I look awake and radiant. So let's do the flash photography test. This doesn't contain any SPF or anything, so I don't expect to have any kind of white cast or anything. Oh, skin's looking great. I think it looks flawless. I love it. And you do notice the difference with the powder. Um, you know, it's obviously just not as shiny. So anyways, let's go on with our day. It is just past 1.15. I'll check back in natural light in just a bit at three o'clock in the afternoon it looks good it looks natural so far the skin is feeling fine uh, again not heavy I don't feel oily so it's a good update I'll check back in a few hours it is almost seven o'clock in the evening and I'm starting to look quite oily I took a flash photo right before I recorded and there's oil all over my face so um, it doesn't look any different on my right side than my left so I'm gonna touch up other than looking oily skin still looks good even complexion I'm not noticing too much redness around the nose it's not too bad but I could still touch that up Ooh, this sponge stinks. It looks fine on my forehead, I guess because there is so much oil, but when I tried to conceal the redness around my nose, it just looks powdery. You can see the powder sitting on top. But anyways, we're going to wear this for the rest of the day. I will check back at the end of the night. It is almost 11 o'clock. Uh, I was looking closely at my face and I noticed it looked a little blotchy in some areas. Like, I don't even know what the heck happened here. Blush is literally coming off just by me sweeping my finger. 
my foundation is pretty much at the end of its road. It's not really much of a surprise to me though. It's not like this foundation claimed to be a 10 hour wear. Well, I think the foundation is a good foundation for the price point. It is catered to all skin types. Obviously, if you do have oilier skin, I do recommend the setting powder. The setting powder seemed to work well uh, after I touched up. I took a photo before I recorded just now and I don't look oily. So it held up pretty well for several hours. When you saw me reapply this last time, my face looked powdery, at least around my nose. Now looking at myself in the mirror, it looks fine. I mean, obviously the oil broke through it and then kind of calmed it down. If you're super oily, you might have a different reaction. But if you do have dry skin, I think this would be great for you and you probably don't even need to use a setting powder because it sets kind of somewhat a matte finish and it does look natural. Now, I say I would pass on the concealer. The concealer stick didn't feel smooth on my skin. You know, it looks very similar to L'Oreal's concealer stick. L'Oreal on my left. And the L'Oreal one is just way creamy. It has great pigmentation and glides on smooth. If you're gonna get drugstore anyway, I would recommend the L'Oreal. So overall, I think the line is okay. If there is one product that I would repurchase, it would be just the foundation. And I would repurchase this, especially if I had like a moment where I just had really dry skin. And the coverage is pretty good. It gives you a natural looking finish. And your complexion just looks awake. And of course, it's a plus that there's 21 shades to choose from. All right, so that's it for my review. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these products and also list your skin type because that's always helpful as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews and I will catch you guys later. Bye. So I don't know if you know, but I do have two other channels. First is Mommy's Life, where I talk mommy stuff. I do hauls. I talk about my baby bears. Um, and then I also have a daily vlog channel called It's Judy's Life, where I vlog every single day.